Uh, <coughs> all come in and get gathered. <coughs> or we can find Trustee Beal, please. Who? Trustee Beal. Oh, I Thank you. Hi, everybody. Um, this meeting of the Board Matthew of Trustees executive, uh, executive Committee is they now called to order. Uh, I want to note the presence of a, of a quorum for the meeting. And uh, this meeting was requested by Chancellor Milliken to allow for consideration of a personnel item. Uh, what I'd like to do first is to call uh, for the approval of the minutes of the executive committee meeting that was held on March the 26th. And you'll find copies of the draft minutes at your seats. Can I have a approval for that? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion on the minutes? Uh, if not, I'd like to call for a vote approval. All in favor of the minutes? Aye. Aye. Opposed, abstentions, thank you very much. Now, what I'd like to do is to call for us to go into executive committee session. Uh, once we go into session, we'll come out, and then that will be the time that we will vote on the item for consideration. Uh, but first, let's go into executive committee. If I can have a motion. Uh, Please, second. Add on the room. second. Okay. And we'll wait for the <laughs> cameras to. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, we are now in, uh, in public session, and what I'd like to do is to ask uh, Trustee Chen to just um, read the resolution, and then we'll have discussion. My pleasure, uh, Mr. Chairman. Uh, the City University of New York, Executive Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs and University Provost, resolved that the Board of Trustees approve the appointment of Vita Caroli. Rabinowitz to be Executive Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs and University Provost effective July 1st, 2015, and a compensation to be recommended by the Chancellor to the Board subject to financial ability. Explanation. After a national search chaired by the City College President Lisa Koiko, the search committee recommended five individuals to be considered by the Chancellor as, executive, as the Executive Vice Chancellor for Exe Academic Affairs and University Provost. Dr. Vita Caroli Rabinowitz is currently the Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs at Hunter College and has served in that position since 2005. She has held a number of other positions at Hunter College, including that of the Chair of Psychology Department and has been a member of the doctoral program in psychology at the Graduate Center since 1989. Dr. Rabinowitz has published widely and has been the recipient of a number of significant grants, including a National Science Foundation Institutional Transformation Grant in the amount of $4.5 million with Professor Virginia Valium for what became known as the Gender Equity Project. Dr. Rabinowitz earned a bachelor's degree from Douglas College and a master's and PhD from Northwestern University. Okay, thank you very much. And what I'd like to do first is to ask, uh, it's been moved. Uh, can I have a second before we have discussion? Okay. okay. And what I'd like to do in terms of discussion is first have the Chancellor make some words, and then we'll have open discussion, okay. and then we'll vote. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, as you all know, we've been engaged in a national search for a new provost since the fall of 2014. As the Chief Academic Officer of the University, the Executive Vice Chancellor and University Provost, plays a crucial role in charting the academic agenda of the university. Our search committee, uh, chaired by President Koiko, included trustees Beal, Schwartz, Martell, and Adewaji, as well as a number of college presidents, provosts, members of the faculty, and senior staff. The committee identified a distinguished group of academic administrators from across the nation, 
and was unanimous in recommending Dr. Rabinowitz as a finalist for this post. We've been very fortunate to find the best candidate from within the university, and I enthusiastically recommend that Dr. Peter Rabinowitz be appointed as CUNY's Executive Vice Chancellor and University Provost. Dr. Rabinowitz has served with distinction as Provost and Vice President of Hunter College. She is a highly regarded scholar of social psychology and gender studies and a distinguished author. She's done a tremendous job as Provost and Vice President Hunter and has received impressive endorsements from across the academic community. Her deep knowledge of the university, the respect and regard she has earned from both faculty and staff, and her commitment to CUNY's ambitious academic agenda all attest to her exceptional qualifications for this position. I'm impressed by her ideas, sophistication, and enthusiasm. I'm confident she will be an outstanding partner in the academic leadership of the university. I'm grateful for the support of President Rabb, who, while making it quite clear that she and the Hunter community will very much miss Dr. Rabinowitz's leadership at the college, has expressed her complete support for Vita in this wider role. And I also, before turning this back for discussion, want to take special note of the excellent work and superb direction we have received from the Interim Executive Vice Chancellor and University Provost, Dr. Julia Wrigley. Julia Wise. <laughs> Julia's wise counsel and intellectual depth has earned her the respect and gratitude of the entire community, myself first among them. We will have an appropriate opportunity to thank her at a later time with refreshments and revelry. Uh, but for now, Julia, thank you very thank much. Thank you. Um, oh, good. Uh, Mr. Chairman, that's my recommendation. Good, thank you. Thank you very much. Any other discussion or comments on the motion? I would just say that as a member of the committee, I, I'm just ecstatic about um, being able to have um, her come with before us. I, I, it's a thrill to know that the talent was right there, right under our nose all of the times, and, and uh, we're delighted that she will now bring that wonderful expertise, knowledge, and wisdom to the entire university. So it's a pleasure to bring her aboard. Trustee Beal, thank you so much. My pleasure. Other comments? Okay, here and then we'll move on the motion. All in favor? Aye. aye. Opposed? Aye. Abstentions? Was it the aye was <laughs> was a second. Is that again? Well, all in favor of the motion. Aye. 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 Opposed abstentions and care. Yeah, this is so thank you very Damn much. And, uh, We'd like you to say a few words. Thank you so much, Vice Chairperson Barry and Chancellor Milligan, colleagues and friends, trustees, uh, President Rabb, Jennifer. I am humbled and honored by your support of me as Chancellor Milligan's nominee for Executive Vice Chancellor and University Provost. Chancellor, I'm so grateful to you for recognizing my achievements at Hunter and my potential to contribute at the university level and for offering me the opportunity of a lifetime. I also want to thank President Lisa Koiko and the Executive Vice Chancellor Search Committee for their strong support of my nomination and Hunter President Jennifer Rabb for her generous support of my advancement throughout this process. As you know, I came to Hunter in 1978, and I've spent my entire academic career there. But my family's connection to CUNY actually began um, far sooner than that. My father, Vito Carulli, was admitted to City College in 1940. The opportunity costs of even a free education at one of the nation's finest colleges proved too great for his struggling family, and he left within a year. But for the remainder of his life, he was proud of having had the chance to go to the great city college, where, as he would often boast, the men needed an 88 average to be admitted and the women a 91. And he found, <laughs> he found no irony in that. I have, been, <laughs> I have been Hunter's 
provost and chief academic officer for the past 10 years, making me its longest serving provost and coincidentally the longest serving of the current provosts of CUNY. I am proud of Hunter's rising academic profile, which is evident everywhere from our faculty accomplishments, our thriving academic pro programs, our robust research enterprise, rising graduation rates, all achieved in partnership with a brilliant and ambitious president. Oh, oh my oh. God! Oh. No, okay. Right word. Champagne is pumping. <laughs> Her timing is just superb. <laughs> A brilliant, are you safe? Are you okay, okay right now? A brilliant and ambitious president, outstanding academic deans, wonderful chief operating officers, and a legendary vice president for student affairs. I'm proud of our inspiring strategic plan, which calls for Hunter to be a research-oriented, student-focused institution that fosters interdisciplinarity and collaboration. Colleagues, it has been the work of my life to propel Hunter forward, just as Hunter launched and nurtured me. For a variety of reasons, in the past year, I've yearned to do something more and something different. And what I knew was I would do that something else at CUNY. CUNY is the only institution for me. Everything I love about Hunter, the inspiring mission, the striving students, and the faculty and administrators who are attracted to that mission and those students is what I love about CUNY. From its nationally renowned community colleges and its innovative two-year programs um, to its ambitious four-year programs to its graduate and professional schools, all through CUNY's reach, impact, and prospects are unparalleled. The opportunity to set the academic vision for this and to be the academic voice of the indispensable institution of the greatest city in the world is the opportunity of a lifetime for any academic leader anywhere. And the fact that you found me just a few subway stops away <laughs> is thrilling. If there's a thread that unites my academic my career in academic leadership, it's a, a passion for bridging divides, forging partnerships to build support for bold, worthwhile ideas and initiatives. I love creating senses of possibility and shared purpose around a galvanizing vision. We are fortunate to have a chancellor with such a vision. Chancellor, I, am, I can't wait to work with you on strengthening relationships with New York City schools that provide three quarters of our freshmen, deepen partnerships with the city and state with cultural institutions and the private sector to create jobs and an educated workforce for a future we can only imagine, to improve STEM education, arts education, research collaborations across and beyond CUNY, including with leading university partners around the world in a new global CUNY. I want to work with you to address the challenges facing cities in an increasingly urbanized world and to work to transform how subjects are taught and learned in a new global CUNY. I think this vision is the right one for CUNY, and I'm eager and ready to play a role in leading, developing, and implementing it as we, as we move forward with strategic planning. So colleagues, this will be surely the pinnacle of my life's work. I want you to know that I have developed at Hunter College a deep appreciation for the academic, symbolic, and relational dimensions of, of all problems and of this position. And I will work always and only in partnership with the chancellor, the central office, other provosts, and with all of you to realize this vision and CUNY's best future. Thank you so much for your confidence in me. Much. Uh, there's no other further business, and hearing none, I'd like to ask for a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Second. And now we're ready for it. You can pop the other one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs>